What is Jack up to today? Mm, well, I'm with Jack's anxious yet eager family and his new friend, David Firth. Good morning, Britain viewer. He's got something a bit special up his sleeve for Jack. So, David, tell us. OK, well, we saw Jack on the, on the TV and we thought, what an inspirational, great guy. We ought to try and think of something better for him to do, something that's going to really get him enthused and, and, and different for an old guy of his age. So we thought we'd have a go with one of these. And that's a 1942 um, RAF Tiger Moth aeroplane, uh, used for training in World War II. And we thought, it's a nice outdoor thing. Let's see how he handles that with the wind in his hair. Wow, yes. This plane may be 20 years younger than Jack, but I'm told it's top speed. It's perfect for him. It matches his age. 104 miles an hour. Hello, Dick. This is the pilot. He's going to be taking him up in it. And Jack, I don't know if you can hear me. How are you feeling about the flight? I he said he's feeling on top of the world if you can just about hear him. Well, the drinks jolly will be around soon, Jack. Good luck with your flight. Now, if I'm going to be a proper air steward, I should really tell him where the exits are, but unfortunately there's only one, and it's under the cockpit, and it's by parachute, so hopefully we won't need it. Um, he's going to be going up as quickly as we can get him going this plane uh it has no electric it has to be started by hand guys give him a wave as he goes up there and we'll be showing you a bit of jack's flight uh, later on look at that taking off he's up 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 and away <laughs> give him a cheer guys He's only just landed in the last few minutes, and of course, uh, his family are keen to congratulate him uh, on joining the Smile High Club, as we're calling it. Jack, what was it like? Good? Bad? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Very good. We're not getting a lot out of him at the moment. Look at he used to get his breath back. What about the pilot, Dick? What was he like as a passenger? He was perfect as a passenger. It's been an absolute joy to fly him and a privilege. And he chatted all the way around. It was a lovely flight. Oh, I bet he did. Well, we've had a lot of excitement on the ground as well. We've got some of his great-grandchildren here. Guys, can you tell us, what was it like seeing great-granddad fly an open plane like that? Crazy. <laughs> Crazy! What was your favourite bit? The fly landing. The fly by the landing. He's got some good pictures. I need to speak to Jay and his daughter because, wow, your dad has driven you bonkers about this for the last few weeks, hasn't he? He has. He's been wanting to do it for months and months. Incredible. My stomach were doing more loop the loops than tag them off. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the first class lounge here at Arrivals. I've got books, fizz for everybody. But of course, Jack isn't your average pensioner. He's having a cup of tea, but with a tot of whiskey in it, because I think he might need to settle his nerves. You're building up to it. It won't burn you. It won't burn you, I promise. If you can do a tiger moth, you can do that. Do you want to grab that? OK, so we're in the first class arrivals. I told you I'd have my hat on. I just want to show you something very quickly to show why that family deserved the champagne. This is the scaffolding they had to build to get him in it. But, boy, was it worth it? Guys, give him away! Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, Grandad. <laughs> you enjoy it? I do, she does. Yeah, well, I am joined by Jack now because we're all dying to know how we found that flight. Jack, what was it like up there? It was tremendous. <laughs> Beautiful. Something I've, I've wanted all my life, something I've got. I've lived all my life to get it, and I've got it. It's very good. Thanks to all you people. You've done a right good job. <laughs> well, the person you really need to thank, of course, is David. How did you feel when he offered you How the opportunity? How did you feel? I felt uh, as well as I've ever, ever felt in my life, I think. It really did me good. It took 20 years of 40 years, 50 years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it took 50 years of your life, you're doing really well. And are you thinking of any other challenges, Jack, to knock even more years off your life? Do we want to? Are you going to do some more challenges? Anything else you've got in mind? Uh, uh, I want something exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in, uh, I think about uh, the drop for the uh, 
Royal World Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> so we need something to plug they, that gap. They dropped me for that, but this would be better. I just told Tom, I said, you best drop me off at the door while you park the Did car. Did you sense things were imminent? Yeah. yeah. And then I was trying to close the door really quick, and um, as I got out, um, I just knew she was she was on her way. Even that quickly. Yeah. And what were you thinking, Tom? Did you realise it was coming that quickly? Not that quick. Not at all. <laughs> I just you were thought... desperately searching for.